Hello, I'm Annie Wang, and I'm the Spring Project Leader for our Healthy Corners Rewards Project with DC Central Kitchen. First, we'll introduce our team and give some context about the nonprofit, and we'll go through a demo of some of our core features and talk through some of the unique problems we've been facing this semester. Um, and finally, we'll summarize what we've learned through this experience, as well as the next steps of this project. You'll be hearing from members of our Spring 2020 team, including myself, developers Annie Rowe, Tommy, Kenneth, and Tu, and as well as our designer, Ace. We'd also like to shout out two of our Fall 2019 developers, Kyle and Jonathan. So here are some lovely pictures of our team from Fall Banquet to Retreat. And next, Annie Rowe will give some context about DC Central Kitchen and where our project comes in. So what is DC Central Kitchen? Well, they're a nonprofit based in Washington, DC, and they do really incredible work centered in targeting the cycle of hunger and poverty. Some of their most well-known ventures would of course be their culinary training program or their soup kitchen. But one initiative in particular is aimed at making healthy food more accessible and affordable. It's called Healthy Corners, and this team is who we've been collaborating with to build out this project. Healthy Corners is an initiative focused on making healthy food accessible and affordable. And a bit of context, in DC, there are large pockets of what are known as low-income food deserts, where traditional supermarkets are extremely rare. Due to this, many residents get their shopping done at local corner stores. In these food deserts, it's often hard to find healthy food, specif specifically fresh produce. That's where Healthy Corners comes in. They curate a product list of fresh produce and partner with these corner stores to deliver products in small shipments and at discounted prices, which helps small stores owners mitigate the risk of rolling out new products. The problem we're tackling with Healthy Corners is that because their customer base is spread out amongst all these partner stores, there's no easy way to, to directly channel information and resources to them. Moreover, there's a lack of consolidated information for the 50 plus stores that are, that are currently partnering with Healthy Corners. While they have a website, it's quite hard to navigate and find information on individual stores or see what products are available. And all of that leads to our project. So our main goal was to improve and build off of the Healthy Corners existing programs and to help customers access relevant information easily. Our solution was to build a rewards program for customers shopping at Healthy Corners stores. Concretely, that means we build out two separate applications. One is the customer facing mobile application and the other is a companion Kirk application for tablets. The core features of the customer app are rewards and the map screen, and we'll talk much more about the details later. Here we have three potential basic user personas. Miriam lives in Ward 3 and is on EBT. Because of her busy schedule, she wants to minimize her time spent shopping. Unfortunately, she isn't always sure what stores accept EBT and what's in stock. Miriam is primarily interested in getting resources and information about how and when to get food. Jonathan lives in Ward 5, near Newton Market, and is not on EBT. He buys groceries for a big family, so his main goal is to save money while still getting fresh, healthy produce. He's most interested in the Apps Reward program. Kyle is a store clerk at Newton Market. Though English is not his first language, he's fluent in speaking and is familiar with his store's current point of sale machine. He's excited but nervous about the Healthy Rewards program and wants a smooth work experience. With our context laid out, we'll now get into how Healthy Corners Rewards actually work. The process works in three steps, shop, earn, and save. Customers start by going to a participating store and buying healthy corners, fresh fruits, and vegetables. For each dollar they spend on these products, they earn 100 points. Once a customer reaches 500 points, they unlock a $5 reward, which they can redeem on more healthy products. In short, customers get $5 of free produce for every $5 they spend. And with that, we're now going to demo our apps. Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan and I wanted to get started on using the Healthy Corners Rewards app. So right now I'm signing up, typing in my name, my phone number, followed by my password, which wouldn't show up here because of some screen recording issue. And I'm going to click the sign up button and it's going to prompt a captcha where I have to select all images of cars. I pass the test. Now it's I'm just waiting for a verification um, text. And the text is 666. Verify the verification code, and I successfully signed up. OK, so I want to go do some grocery shopping today. But um, as you can see, the supermarket that is nearest to my current location has no products available. So I would want to look at the whole list of stores to um, see what is open and has product uh, in stock. So I can do this by filtering out with these cool filters. So I can click on it. And the one nearest to me that ha is both open and um, has products in 
um, stock is new to the market, so I might want to go there. So if I click on it, it should bring me to um, where it is on the map, and I can look at all the products. I can see um, a detailed list of all the products. And I can also go to um, the, the store's detail page to look to find more information about say, the store's location, phone number, accepted programs, and also all the store hours. And I can see that it's open until 10 p.m. and it has accepted programs that I might be interested in. And so I want to go to the Newton Market. So I'm going to click on the Get Directions um, button and open it up on my default Apple Map. And it should bring me to where Newton Market is on the map, and I can navigate my way there. So I'm going to go there right now. My name is Kyle Hua, and I've just arrived to my shift at Newton's Market. I'm going to log into my clerk account. So I'm going to look up Newton's Market in the store list. And my employee pin is 7890. So, hi. Hi, I've now arrived at Newton's Market, and I'm Jonathan. I'm a Healthy Rewards customer. OK, what's your phone number? It's 650-555-5056. All right, awesome. So your name is Jonathan, and what would you like to buy? So today I am purchasing three mangoes, one bag of spinach, and two bags of baby bella mushrooms. All right, that's three mangoes, one bag of spinach, and two baby bella mushrooms. All right, and you have one reward available. Would you like to apply it? Oh, yes, please. All right, so applying one reward. And just to confirm, you are buying three mangoes, two mushrooms, and one spinach. Uh, you redeemed one reward, so your subtotal was $7. You saved $5 for a total of $2 in this sale. And today, you earned 200 points. Is that correct? Awesome. That sounds about right. OK, so I'm going to confirm this transaction. Um, and it'll take me to a confirmation page. Just in case there's anything wrong with this transaction or a future transaction, what I can do is press and hold the transaction ID, which will copy it to my clipboard, and I can just go to the hamburger menu and submit feedback to the Healthy Corners team. But in the meantime, I'm going to go to the next customer and complete other transactions. And so after the transaction, I'm going to go back to my application, and I can go to my Healthy Rewards page, and this is where I can look at where um, if I have any available rewards and how many more points I need before I can unlock my next $5 reward. I can also look at my points history, and this should tell me on all my transactions and all the points earned. And this is from my most recent um, transaction and grocery run at Newton Market. So yeah, this shows you lots of cool information, and I am ready for my next grocery run. Adapting the change. Throughout the process of building our application, we ran into many global conflicts and came up with brand new ideas to tackle these challenges. One of these ideas was the guest mode. Our motivations behind this were shifting to help people now. Although the app was still in development, there is nothing stopping us from creating a way for people to bypass rewards, bypass creating an account, and just hop in and access everything DC Central Kitchen has to give to them, be it a map of all the locations where they can get food, to resources such as their site, connections, and everything on their site that would normally be hard to access. By investing in products, project success, by letting anyone and everyone hop on, we've essentially created a new user base, which we hope in the long run will be ready to head up to DC Central Kitchen participating stores and start earning rewards as soon as we deploy. And to tackle the issues that have come up in the recent months, we've collaborated with DC to bring in new effective resources to tackle COVID-19. This includes a whole new section on the resources page with many, many links to places such as testing, food resources, etc. On top of what was already offered, we hope that guest mode opens the world up to many people and that they managed to benefit from all these resources. So on a more technical note, I wanted to talk about how we tackled an unexpected problem we faced. 
As you saw in the demo earlier, our customer-facing app only displays recently delivered products. However, the delivery data is updated in the Google Sheet, and there will be discrepancies if we don't update our Airtable data to match, and often. Ultimately, we automated this process. We built and deployed a backend application whose only job is to run code that will transfer data from the Google Sheet to our Airtable base on a daily basis. That meant we have to maintain a third application, but we thought that the benefits were worth it. First, we learned how important it is to test on a variety of devices. Throughout the semester, we discovered several iOS and Android inconsistencies, like unexpectedly massive location markers and conflicts with Android's built-in back button. We also realized how drastically different one screen can look on different phones. It's key to leave more time than you think to test, as these unique styling, hardware, and other issues and discrepancies are difficult to predict, but rest assured they will happen. Testing on different devices before even making PRs can help catch bugs early, and it's always better than waiting until user complains and then going back to fix an issue. One unique positive opportunity we had this semester was conducting user testing with DC Central Kitchen employees using the app straight off the App Store. However, this did mean finagling with remote testing, which was sometimes easier said than done. And on top of inherent difficulties of digital correspondence, DC Central Kitchen was working overtime to provide COVID-19 response. However, five wonderful volunteers were able to schedule half-hour user testing interviews with me, from which we gained a lot of insight into what actual use cases are like. Being Berkeley students, we inevitably exist in a bubble. User testing helps break through that barrier and reveals things like whether or not a feature is discoverable, or if the reward system is intuitive, or if finding your location feels more invasive than helpful. As a general statement, do user testing and do it early. Though user testing started only recently, we had weekly calls throughout the semester with our NPO points of contact, Gabby and Gregory. These regular updates were mutually beneficial, syncing both us and DC Central Kitchen to consistently be on the same page. Minimizing these knowledge gaps facilitated constant feedback, quick information transfer, and hopefully a smooth final handoff. Additionally, these calls fostered a deeper connection to their mission. More than just understanding their goals, we were personally invested, even from across the country. Our biggest takeaway, if nothing else, is to care about who you work with and have fun with them. With this semester's takeaways covered, Annie Wang will now talk about our next steps. On April 22nd, we launched the Healthy Corners Rewards Program at our first store, Names Market. Healthy Corners has helped distribute these flyers, and the owners have been individually talking to their customers and encouraging them to download this app and check out the program. So for a bit of context about this launch, most Healthy Corner stores have remained open throughout lockdown as they provide essential goods and services, which are especially important in these neighborhoods that already have low access to grocery stores and supermarkets. NAMS is quite literally a mom and pop shop, fully owned and operated by a husband and wife. But um, even though many stores have remained open, many small businesses like NAMS Market have been facing unprecedented economic disruption due to the COVID-19 outbreak. So this was another incentive for launching this pilot now. We hope to work with Healthy Corners to drive business in stores that have been going through some slumps due to the global crisis. We even decided to add some extra incentives. On top of the already great offer of $5, buy $5, get $5 free, users get a 500 point bonus, which is equivalent to a $5 reward just for downloading and signing up on the app. This means they can start um, redeeming free produce immediately. The rewards program will continue to run in NAMS Market and will begin a wider rollout to more stores across the Healthy Corners network starting in the fall. In addition to the rewards launch, as we continue user testing and gathering responses from the NAMS Market users, we're working toward a citywide launch of the app focusing on the store and product information features. We've been working with the DC Central Kitchen's marketing and communications team to coordinate their strategy and timeline for this launch, leveraging their vast network and experience working with the DC community to get the app all across Washington, DC to promote access to affordable and healthy food. So focusing on these features for the citywide launch has also been an interesting challenge. Um, so since we're not building an internal tool, we don't have a guaranteed user base to launch to. So we've had to put in extra effort and time into making sure that our customer facing app is absolutely bulletproof. Um, tested edge cases across different kinds of devices and scenarios. Um, it has been essential to make sure that the user's experience is flawless from both a design and technical perspective. Though accounting for some of these edge cases could sometimes be easy to, to dismiss as non-essential nitpicks, these considerations are essential to building our credibility with users. Essential to making sure that the DC residents get a great first impression with accurate up-to-date information and in, in an intuitive display from the moment the shopper sees a flyer and downloads our app. So I'm so incredibly proud and thankful for my team who have put in so much time and energy to get us ready for this launch. We're very, very excited to be finishing our semester with DC residents already using the app to plan the grocery runs, find essential resources, and up-to-date information.
Thank you.